This is a story of how Gable Stevenson is taking over the world. On May 31st, 2000, Gable Dan Stevenson was born. And yes, he was named after the legendary wrestler and Olympic champion, Dan Gable. I mean, I love Dan Gable. It's my, my name, actually. I'm Gable Dan. We just flip backwards. He started wrestling when he was very young, and he was already on track to become a living legend. Throughout his high school career, he ended up with the sought after four state titles and ended up with a whole career record of 210 wins and only three losses. With his backflip being his official trademark of his championships, Gable skyrocketed in social media followers and mega clout. Now, one may feel overwhelmed and almost caught up in the past successes, but Gable is built different. He ended up going to Minnesota to pursue his next goal, becoming an NCAA national champion. His freshman year started with him actually redshirting, but that eventually got pulled so he could compete and finish the rest of the season. From here, he compiled a 14-0 regular season record, and he was then faced up in the Big Ten Championships against none other than Anthony Kassar. Wow, oh, shot there. Good work. Good job. There's the two. Yeah. And he goes ahead for a short, short time. Anthony Kassar stuns, bringing him back in. And Big that's win. it. Two heavyweights, they clash. And they waited a while, but that third period was wild. And Anthony Kassar steps up, takes the heavyweight position for the Nittany Lions, and wins his first Big Ten championship. This was Gable's first folk style loss since eighth grade. However, this wouldn't be the last of Kassar. Gable then succeeded in making it to the national tournament to compete for a title, and he was doing amazing and ended up making it to the semifinals where he got put up against Anthony freaking Kassar. And, and not be as offensive as he would want to be in there. Huge score. Lotting time giving Kassar the edge, the low shot. Not enough. Kassar did end up winning the national title, but Gable fought back to finish in the third place spot. It is now the beginning of 2020, and Gable has his eyes set on gold. He has been training with legendary Gopher, WWE star, and UFC star Brock Lesnar. this duo, it almost seemed like Gable would follow right behind him in his footsteps. That's been crazy. Brock's a good guy. I love him and he's just, he's paving away for me and hopefully I can follow in his footsteps. That year, Gable went undefeated and ended up winning his first Big Ten Championship against Mason Paris. He's up off the ground with very little weight and he's attacking just like that. Two, three, two. two points. Gable Stevenson going to fend Great him music. off and Good win his day. championship, his first championship after falling short last year. I love the haters, I love the doubters. I've seen on my timeline, meet people saying I'm ducking. I showed up today and I show up in two weeks. Gable was the number one ranked heavyweight and was all on track to succeed in, his, in accomplishing his goal. However, you know, COVID struck and the national championship was canceled, but this didn't matter. Over the next year, Gable turned from human to absolutely freaking superhuman. You could already tell that this was a new Gable, not just by the way he looked, but by the way he performed. At Beat the Streets, Gable teched Trent Hilger easily, made it look way too easy. And then you add in, he's just bully strong. Oh, great transition. I, again, you wanna add to the, the, the ways that he can beat you? How about just changing levels? And Hilger's like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the ground so I'm gonna try to pick me up. It felt great to be, out, be back out on the mat. Like I said, Trent's a great opponent. He's always down to wrestle. And I appreciate him for that and respect him for that. Um, but like I said, didn't expect anything less. I came here to get in and get out. Like I said, the recent floor wrestling interview, that was the goal. This definitely got people talking and all eyes were back on the stud. During the regular season, Gable did end up winning nine matches with zero losses, all wins by being way of bonus points. No one was even close. 
During the postseason, he continued his dominance by making it to the Big Ten Championships and ended up beating Mason Paris once again to attain his second Big Ten Championship. The showdown, the top two heavyweights in the country, Gable Steveson, the reigning Big Ten champion, Mason Paris, ranked number two in the country. Of course, a rematch of that Big Ten final in Piscataway, where Steveson prevailed 8-6. Make this match the better. Wow, wow. No. look at that. Is the effectiveness of the shots. He's got about a 75% completion rate on his shots, and, you know, that's just out of this world. Constantly looking for points. Taking him to his back. On that two for third place, winner by major. Santa Rivalry. I came here and did my job. I'm 2 0 against him. I'm going to see him next week, though. I'm not worried about nothing. I put my skills on display right here. It's going to happen again. Gable was on a mission, and once again, he was the favorite to win it all. At the national tournament, he cruised his way to the finals and ended up being face up once again, Mason Paris. champion <laughs> put yourself in a wonderful position in life olympics college wrestling nfl wwe you got a lot of choices where do you think you see yourself hey i'm happy to be here right now we'll take it one step at a time thank you Great point. Congratulations. Thanks. Once again, Gable put on a show and showed off his infamous backflip. This was seven months ago. Seven months. He, of course, ended up getting the Hodge Trophy winner. He co-won it with Spencer Lee, but Spencer Lee, that's another story. Gable clearly showed everyone how good he is, and this led him to competing in the Olympic trials. So he's been the guy for the United States the last handful of years at this weight. A lot of people expect Gable Stevenson to be the guy in the future. The question is, does the future start now? To your chest, nice single leg shot to a drive out to Joyce. They probably get that two take down. Seen it before. Somebody powers through after winning an NCAA title into a big Olympic or world trials experience and finds a way through. And this time around, it's Gable Stevenson. A 2020 Olympian for the United States. He's headed to Tokyo. Next year to this year may have served him pretty well. And the fans here, they want to see his celebration backflip. <laughs> pretty impressive. That's a 265 pound human who just pulled that up. How was NCAAs? What a year it's been for you, and now you get to cap it off potentially with a gold medal. What would that mean for you? I mean the world. We train for moments like these. You live for this. I don't even know how to explain it. What was it like being around all this audience? I saw the backflip. They were chanting, so I was like, let's flip. People love it, I love it. I'm an entertainer, but first I win matches. Perfect, thank you very much. Thanks, congratulations. Gable once again showed he was the best. With winning the trials, the 21-year-old skyrocketed followers and really set up his future for other career endeavors. I'm gonna be honest, I'm 19, I'm turning 20 later this month, and it's crazy to think Gable is less than two years older than me. Where did I go wrong? Gable had to be on cloud nine for the next four months before the Olympic Games. For instance, he got to throw the first pitch at the Twins game. L look at that, L look how happy he is. Just living life. He then posted an inspirational photo uh, with caption and by now he was getting looked at by possible other head honchos other than the NCAA. This of course being the WWE and the UFC. Now what about UFC? Cause Dana White said he was gonna meet with you in Vegas. Did that meeting happen? Tell me. He's got my number. He can reach out, you know, he's got my number, he can reach out. You felt like he wasn't coming at you uh, aggressive enough. He didn't want you enough. He don't, he's not coming at me like that. So I'm, like I said, I wait my turn. Dana, you have my phone number, you got my Instagram. This I don't, guy. I don't run. I don't run to people, you know. I, I do my job, I, I wrestle, I win championships. I put on for the university, I put on for USA. Anyways, he got ready to go to the Olympic games and when August hit, his time was up. Long story short, Gable made it to the Olympic finals. The Olympic 
finals. Do you understand how crazy that is? The last time someone won Olympics from the super heavyweight division was Bruce Bumgarner 29 years ago. He just won the NCAA finals, like I said, seven months ago. Now he's one win away from becoming the best wrestler in the world. Well, if you don't know the outcome, where have you been? Now, I actually can't show the match unless I'll get copyrighted, but Gable was down 5-8 to eight with 12 seconds left and rallied back with two takedowns, winning 9-8 to eight and, of course, doing his infamous backflip. Like, how? He really shocked the world, and I'm sure himself. Clearly, you can see Gable's the GOAT, but his story doesn't even end here. Now, Gable, to be honest, had three big choices to make. One, being to stay at Minnesota to finish wrestling and get his college degree. Two, join the UFC or, you know, just go into MMA. Or three, the WWE. Everyone knew Gable loved the WWE as he went to events and took pictures with all sorts of superstars. It wasn't until about a week ago where he actually made his final decision. Talk about a game changer, NCAA heavyweight champion and Olympic gold medalist, Gable Steveson. Wow. I did not expect this. This is huge. Gable Steveson, Olympic gold medalist, is coming to Monday night, guys. Not only did Gable just set himself to become a future multimillionaire, but he also decided to stay and wrestle at the University of Minnesota once again. You know, if you think about someone who's winning out there, Gable's in the conversation. Now, this leads up to where we are now, here in the present time. By researching Gable and kind of doing this whole video project, it kind of was clear to me that he had his priorities straight. No one gets to where Gable got by accident. It just, it just doesn't happen. So if there's one thing you can pick up from this video, is that if you really want to accomplish something, no matter how far, how crazy it is, you can do it, but you need to have your priorities straight. I said this many times before, I'll say it a thousand more times if I have to. You can make your dreams into a reality. This is Caden's Vlog. Dreams to Reality merch, link in bio.